Yeah, but, well, we got giddy out of it, which I'm pretty happy about. Mm. I wanted Barnes, but oh well. That's the that's the thing I was going to bring up in this video. Do you yeah. remember what I said before the draft started about Scotty Barnes, who I said would take him? Yeah, you were you were um, high on Scotty Barnes. Mm. You said he was going to us, didn't you? No, I remember like a couple of weeks, a couple of weeks before I changed. I said Raptors will take Scotty Barnes. I legitimately yeah, called that was, it. That was out of nowhere. I, I didn't see it coming personally. I before the lottery, I wanted Mobley. So mm. I, uh, I feel like I picked the best player in the draft. There's something I could <laughs> hang my uh, hat on. We but, we uh, um that's what before the draft I said to I think I said it to um Josh. I wouldn't be surprised if we weren't fully 100% on Mobley and we took Scotty Barnes. And the yeah. reason I said that was because I thought Scotty Barnes, his playmaking, his defense was so exceptional that I thought he was going to jump. And he did. The Raptors took him at four. We safely took Mobley, which I was very happy about. I, de- I did want him over Barnes. But I said, mm. watch out for this Barnes kid because like... Didn't he- want him over Green though. No. Oh, over who? Over Green. Oh, I was pretty I high on Green before. Green. Yeah. Lucky they didn't listen to me, right? Lucky the Lucky, Rockets yeah. were like, hell yeah, Green's the next thing. I mean, he could be, no, but like Green still has potential, but he's... Hopefully. Yeah. I mean, Jalen Green, he's a oh, lot he behind. Oh, he just hasn't like, been as good in his rookie year. Yeah. He's a lot behind like Anthony Edwards and that were at this age. Mm. Like, I think he's statistically one of the worst defensive players in the league, plus minus wise as well. He's got a long way to go. But so does that whole Rockets team, Kevin Porter Jr., etc. But hey, what did I say? Yeah. Scotty Barnes? I said it. I called it. I'm saying it right now. I said he should have gone yeah. at four, and I was, he's great. I was all over the Scotty Barnes hype train, but I did not think that. I thought he was going to fall to us, personally. Mm. But uh, I was would you mad be, that he didn't. Be happy with the pick of Giddy, or would you have rather Barnes? Oh, considering who was on the board, 100%. It's mm. probably the best player available that's come out of the uh, draft, apart from potentially Franz Wagner, who's come out of absolutely fucking nowhere because people thought that was a reach <laughs> on draft night. Yeah, well, I mean... And he's been actually really good. The Magic were really like, they had to take Suggs, but a part of me wonders yeah. if they regret it. Um, I really don't know because, like, dude, they had the chance to have Kaminga and Wagner. And now they've got Suggs, mm. um, Anthony, and Fultz. And it's just like, well, oh, my God. Like, how, how well, the Suggs, I don't, will he even start next year? Like, how, how would the, I wonder how the Magic are going to go about this because next year's when. They've got so many young players on this team. They need to start building somewhat of a foundation next year. And to me, that foundation includes Marco Fultz starting at the point. And I would, I know this might be controversial, but in my eyes, a really good team does not have Cole Anthony starting. They have Cole Anthony as the elite scoring six man, you know what I mean? Yeah, um, he's obviously been good scoring the ball-wise yeah. this year. Just needs to become more efficient and whatever, but for a second year player or his second year, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's been pretty impressive. Um, I, d- I d- just don't know what Fultz is going to be like coming back from injury. Mm. He looked pretty good last year before he went down with that, but it's also a uh, matter of whether he can stay healthy. But where does Suggs fit into the. Um, because, like, I feel like that's just too many guards and. Even though Suggs is so much younger than what Fultz is, I'm really low on Jalen Suggs. Like, yeah, to me, if there's is... anyone that's looked like Dennis Smith in the last how long, Suggs is. <laughs> just he's just yeah. Dennis Smith with a better jumper, and it's not as much better as what a lot of people think it is. Yeah, I feel like there's not like there's still time for him. It's not um, oh, heaps of time. It's a bit too early to give up on him. Yeah. I'm just not yeah. as high on him as what a lot of people are. I think the um, obvious candidate for them to trade is Fultz. Just get out him of out the of there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, injury prone. On a, The other two are on rookie deals. Um, so you could have more flexible packages that way. And yeah. I just Who would take like Markel like Fultz? 
well, obviously there's teams that would take a chance on him because he's young and like like I said, he showed flashes last year before mm. he went down with that injury. So if he could stay healthy. What's the team you reckon? Give me a team top of the head. Around. Oh, top of the head. Somebody that's just trying to take a flyer on a young player like a yeah. I don't want to say a San Antonio because they've got DeJounte Murray, but somebody that's just stuck in the middle of nowhere and has the time to just take a mm. flyer on a young player that could turn into something. I, that's, that's actually sh- good. Potential. What I, I could see DeJounte Murray and um, Fultz actually working together. I It'd could see that defense. happening. Yeah, well, Fultz is a lot better of a defender than what a lot of people give him credit for. Yeah, he's been pretty solid there. Yeah, as well. and Murray's a... He's a sensational defender. Like, he... Man, when I watch DeJounte Murray play, when I'm watching him on Garland, even watching on the TV, I'm like, oh, get off him. Yeah. You know, get off him. Let get him do his him. thing. Yeah. Could you imagine what an NBA player he's thinking? If I'm thinking that watching the TV, the dude just gets yeah, under yeah. people's skin. He is an elite defender. But, um, he's grown a lot of as well. Oh, yeah. I mean, his three-point percentage, I think, has improved heaps. So... Do the wasteland, do the high-